ascites is the accumulation of fluid in the abdomen, which should not be present normally. When a person has ascites, the stomach is enlarged and swollen, which is visible. When a person lies down, the fluid moves to the sides of the abdomen and it causes a bulge outwards. It's called bulging flanks. And the third sign is the belly button is pushed outward and flattened or even protrudes. It is called the nevat umbilicus. This sign is common in significant ascites. The most common cause of acidase is cirrhosis. If a person has fluid in the abdomen, there is an almost 84% probability it's due to cirrhosis. Fibrosis changes in the liver compress blood vessels and increase pressure in the portal vein. This is the vein that brings blood from the intestines and spleen to the liver. This is unusual for the body and triggers a maladaptive response. It releases substances that cause dilation of blood vessels in the splanchnic circulation. This facidilation, combined with the increased pressure, causes fluid to leak from the capillaries into the peritoneal cavity. Also, the kidney starts to retain water and salt in the blood, which increases blood volume and further increases hydrostatic pressure within the vessels. And it worsens fluid leakage for the contributing to ascites. Mm. When ascites develops, it is usually a sign of serious liver damage. It is usually the fourth stage of liver fibrosis, which we call cirrhosis. Cirrhosis automatically does not mean fluid accumulation in the stomach, but if fluid accumulation happens due to the liver, it is almost always due to decompensated cirrhosis. Usually, it happens due to hepatitis like hepatitis B and C virus infections, alcoholic liver diseases and other less common liver diseases. Another classical sign doctors check to assess ascites is this. Then, the examiner taps one side of the abdomen, a wave of fluid can be felt on the other side. It is called a fluid wave. Also, other signs of cirrhosis are yondis, yellowing of the skin and the white parts of the eye. Small spider-like blood vessels are visible on the skin, especially on the chest and upper body. Easy bruising and bleeding due to decreased production of clotting factors by the liver. And in severe cases, hepatic encephalopathy confusion, altered mental status, and even coma due to the buildup of toxins like ammonia that the liver can no longer clear. Caput medusae around the umbilicus resembling the head of medusa is a sign of severe portal hypertension. The goal's treatment of cirrhosis is to prevent further damage to the liver and improve symptoms if possible. It includes treating hepatitis, for example, hepatitis C decreased alcohol intake. A low sodium diet and diuretics are considered a cornerstone to reduce ascites. Draining large volumes of acetic fluid directly from the abdomen using a needle. This provides immediate relief from symptoms but doesn't address the underlying cause. It's often done for tense ascites or when diuretics are ineffective. It is called therapeutic paracentesis. Without treatment, a site has a bad prognosis. With treatment, still important risks. The second most common cause of acetase is cancer, called malignant acids. It is responsible for 10% of cases. Liver cancers, liver metastases, peritoneal carcinomatosis, and other large tumors in the abdomen can cause acetase due to lymphatic or blood vessel compression and obstruction. A special ovarian cancer is the major cause of malignant ascites. The third most common cause is heart failure. The probability is around 3%. Primary right-sided heart failure causes ascites. When the failing heart can't pump blood effectively, it leads to a backup of blood in the venous system. This increased pressure transmits to the liver, causing congestion and increased pressure in the liver's sinusoid small blood vessels. The increased pressure forces fluid out of the blood vessels and into the peritoneal cavity. This is often accompanied by peripheral edema swelling in the legs. Such problems happen in people with long-standing heart failure, usually due to coronary artery disease, hypertension and valvular heart disease. Another common cause is tuberculosis with a probability around 2% or low, which is caused by bacterial infection. The body's immune response forms granulomas, collections of immune cells in the peritoneum, which can contribute to fluid exchange.
bitter causes are rare. For example, nephrotic syndrome, pancreatitis, hypothyroidism, connective tissue diseases, and other rare diseases.